welcome back welcome to this awareness course where we have 30 days schedule and on daily basis we are covering one topic i'm sure it is easy to spare 15 20 minutes on daily basis so that we can at least go through few things and we can learn few new things also right so we'll begin with safety talk we'll go through three subtopics today's subtopics after these uh, explanations then we'll go through the quiz we will have 20 mcq questions along with correct answers we'll have explanations also so don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to subscribe also look into the description box where a lot of links have been given you can go through the links you can navigate through the content uh, published on this youtube channel and on epc land right a lot of videos courses free and paid both a lot of quizzes are there right articles are there you can go through that if you like the content don't forget to share with your friends so let's begin let's welcome our friend uh, mr peter who will explain the today's topic so first begin with the safety talk so let's start hello everyone today we'll talk about some important safety hazards in the workplace struck by caught in and caught between hazards struck by hazards Struck by hazards happen when something in motion collides with a person. It could be a moving vehicle, equipment, or even falling objects. Always be alert and aware of your surroundings to avoid such accidents. Caught in hazards. Caught in hazards occur when a worker's body or clothing gets pulled into moving machinery or equipment. Never wear loose clothing or jewelry near moving parts and always follow safety procedures. Caught between hazards. Caught between hazards involve being crushed or compressed between two objects. This can happen during material handling, using heavy equipment, or even while working in confined spaces. Always maintain a safe distance and use proper barriers or guards. To stay safe. Always wear the required personal protective equipment, PPE, like hard hats and high visibility clothing. Keep a safe distance from operating equipment and moving vehicles. Be cautious around heavy machinery and moving parts. Never remove safety safety guards or barriers. Follow proper procedures and get proper training for all tasks. Stay alert, be safe, and look out for each other. Safety is everyone's responsibility. Welcome today one of our exploration into ASME B31.12, a crucial standard in the world of hydrogen piping. Today, we delve into the importance of this standard, focusing on its role in ensuring the safety and efficiency of hydrogen pipelines. As we move forward, we'll explore the scope and objectives of ASME B31.12, but first, let's understand why this standard is so essential. Hydrogen is emerging as a key energy carrier, playing a vital role in the transition to cleaner and more sustainable energy sources. However, the unique properties of hydrogen pre present challenges in terms of handling, distribution, and safety. This is where ASME B31.12 comes in. ASME B31.12 provides a comprehensive framework for the design, construction, and operation of hydrogen piping systems. It addresses safety durations, material compatibility, pressure handling, inspection, and more. By adhering to this standard, we ensure that hydrogen pipelines are not only efficient but also safe. In our next topic on day one, we'll provide an overview of the scope and objectives of ASME B31.12, giving you a clear roadmap for the journey ahead. Join us as we dive deeper into this crucial standard setting the stage for a robust understanding of hydrogen piping. Welcome back! Now that we have a solid foundation of why ASME B31.12 is essential, let's dive into the scope and objectives of this standard. ASME B31.12 is a comprehensive guide that covers every crucial aspect of hydrogen piping. Its primary focus is on safety, making sure that hydrogen pipelines are designed, 
constructed, and operated in a way that minimizes risks to people, property, and the environment. This standard offers specific guidelines for designing these pipelines, carefully selecting materials that can withstand the properties of hydrogen, such as, perme such as permeation and embrittlement. It also addresses the unique pressure and temperature requirements of hydrogen piping, ensuring that the system performs reliably and efficiently. Regular inspection and testing are emphasized in ASME B31.12 to maintain the ongoing integrity of the, of the piping. This helps us catch potential issues before they become serious problems. Another fantastic feature of ASME B31.12 is its role in promoting industry-wide consistency. It provides a shared understanding of best practices, creating a level playing field in the hydrogen sector. The influence of ASME B31.12 isn't limited to a single region, it's recognized internationally. This makes it a vital standard for ensuring the safety and reliability of hydrogen piping systems all around the world. But what sets ASME 31.12 apart? What are the key differences between it and other piping codes? Join us in the next topic of day one as we unravel these distinctions, providing you with a deeper understanding of this critical standard. Welcome back. Today, we're digging into the key differences between ASME B31.12 and other piping codes. These distinctions are crucial for understanding how ASME B31.12 is uniquely tailored to handle the challenges of hydrogen piping. Firstly, ASME B31.12 is all about hydrogen. It's specifically designed to address the intricacies of handling hydrogen as a fluid in piping systems. Other codes, while valuable for their intended purposes, might not provide the same level of detail when it comes to the distinct properties of hydrogen. Material selection is another area where ASME B31.12 stands out. It gives us specific guidelines for choosing materials that can handle hydrogen's properties, which can be quite different from what other codes recommend. One of the biggest differentiators is the st strong emphasis on safety in ASME B31.12, particularly when dealing with hydrogen. This standard takes into account factors like hydrogen embrittlement and permeation, which might not be as extensively addressed in other codes. ASME B31.12 also considers the unique pressure and temperature requirements of hydrogen, setting it apart from codes meant for different fluids. It offers corrosion mitigation strategies tailored specifically for hydrogen, acknowledging the challenges it poses. The growing global recognition of ASME B31.12 in the industry is, is noteworthy. It's becoming the go-to standard for hydrogen piping, setting it apart from other codes that might not have achieved the same level of consensus. Moreover, ASME B31.12 is designed to be adaptable. It can evolve with advancements in hydrogen technology, making future ready compared to codes that may be less flexible. So, remember, ASME B31.12 isn't just one aspect, it's a comprehensive framework covering design, construction, operation, and inspection. Now, as we transition to day two, get ready to explore the properties of hydrogen as an energy carrier. It's an exciting journey, and we're glad you're here with us.
so by this we are done with today's topic we had safety talk we had a discussion on three subtopics quiz correct answers and their explanations so we are having 30 days schedule with us we are covering one topic a day so i'm sure 15 20 minutes we can spare on daily basis so that we can go through the content don't forget to share with your friends so that everybody gets to know at least few uh, new things don't forget to subscribe so that you get the latest updates we are going to launch many more awareness courses on this channel so it is if you are sub subscribing to this channel you will get the regular updates also don't forget to look into the description box where a lot of new links are given you can navigate through available courses free and paid both a lot of videos playlist quizzes which are published on uh, epc land so go through these links if you find something useful you can share with your friends also so by this we are going to cover rest of the topics also we'll tomorrow also we'll start with safety talk then we'll uh, have an explanation to these three subtopics then we'll have quiz along with the correct answers we'll have explanations so stay tuned keep learning thank you for watching